in this video i'm going to show you extra large commercial buy that gestures that i did for this huge property here in accra dream house home improvements constructors of biodegradable waste biodigesters property tours in ghana and general construction and building here in ghana if you are new to this channel subscribe and be part of the growing community of those who are interested in how biodigesters work and of course how homeowners are using it as an option in human waste treatment and management here in ghana When you are considering the construction of a commercial size biodigester, there are a few things that you must insist on, both technically and for convenience sake. Pipes that are coming from top of the building has to have an elevation enough so that we can have enough room for the inlet to go into the digester and then to have a space for the outlet as well to be joined to the drainage system that will be going into a bigger drainage system outside the house also the pipes down on the ground floor will have to be separated or it has to be raised because they were originally done for a septic tank that the homeowner was going to be constructed in front of the building then that was where all those parts were going to go so the digesters have been done and there are three of them there's a large family size biodigester for the one bedroom apartment and there's this extra large commercial size biodigesters, two of them for each side of the apartment. And the other side has got two apartments, two bedrooms each, three of them. And this side has got three bedrooms each, three apartments. And basically what we did was to have the soak away in it as part of the whole construction. It's about eight feet long and about four feet depth. So it's a huge biodigester. And then the soak away was done inside with an overflow pipe that takes the excess water that will be retained in the digester after filtration has been done, enhanced filtration has been done, will be sent to the drainage system that will be constructed in front of the house, taking it to a bigger drainage at the other end of this particular area. So this is the biodigesters that can be done for this kind of properties. I mean, the possibilities are endless. The key part, like I always say, in most of this construction, is to make sure you know where your wastewater is going. If you have a fair idea of how to manage the wastewater that is coming in because there's going to be a lot of wastewater coming in inside facility at each point in time either in the morning in the afternoon or in the evening there's going to be a lot of wastewater or flash units that will be used by the people who will be living in such properties not even to consider the full capacity which will be a lot of water so when you have a fair idea of how to manage that wastewater the biodigesters simply work because then there's biodegradation that takes place for the human waste and then the tissue papers that will all be dropped in it. The excess water is what must go out at every point in time so that it doesn't clog the pipeway, it doesn't affect the biodegradation process that must happen in such a technology. Don't forget, I also did a small size, I mean very, very small size, four feet precast, prefabricated slab digester for the, for the security post. That is where those who will be taking care of this compound, this property, will be staying. They have a washroom there, and then I've done a digester, a small one, just at a place for them, with a pipe that will also send it all the way into the waste drainage. So there are a lot of jobs that we did here. We did four by digesters. The mini standard size, <laughs> if you can call it like that, the mini standard size bio digester was done for the, for the security post. And then the family size large one was done for the one bedroom house. We also did the extra commercial large biodigesters for each side of the building. 